Chicago Burlington and Quincy 9900 was built by the Bud Company in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 1934 and is a stainless steel Burlington Zephyr. In front of it is a shovel nose and is an unseparational train set. Chicago Burlington and Quincy 9900 is known as the Pioneer Zephyr. Also, Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy 9900 is the first successful streamlined passenger train in America. Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy 9900 is made of stainless steel. Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy wanted a flashy train to get a dis depression of wary public interest in traveling again. Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy 9900 was the first of many successful Zephyrs. The Pioneer Zephyr had four, perma four cars permanently articulated together on shared trucks. Also, there are currently three cars on the Pioneer Zephyr. The fourth car, fourth one is not on it, and it was lost in the yard a long time ago. The Pioneer Zephyr was introduced to the public on a 13-hour, 1,000-mile record-setting speed run from Denver, Colorado to the Century of Progress Fair in Chicago. Extensive preparations were made for top speed on it, the run by diverting other trains and restricting grade crossings. The Pioneer Zephyr entered regular service in November 1934 between Kansas City, Missouri and Lincoln, Nebraska. Chicago Burlington and Quincy 9900 was seen at the Chicago World's Fair when it arrived in Chicago, Illinois, where it made its 13-hour trip from Denver, Colorado to Chicago, Illinois. <clears throat> Chicago Burlington and Quincy 9900 had a 26-year active lifespan servicing a number of routes in the Burlington system. Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy 9900 was retired in 1960 when it was doing the St. Joseph, Missouri to Lincoln, Nebraska run. Also, the Pioneer Zephyr came to be part of the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago, Illinois, where it is today, and it is a good way for education and Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy 9900 was outdoors before being moved indoors inside to its final resting spot. Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy 9900 was next to the submarine when displayed outside. Now, Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy 9900 these days is seen in the main lobby of the museum, and you can see exhibits around it. Check out the cab, but only in view from one spot, and even check out the mail sorting compartment. And every 20 minutes, tours of the interior of from the baggage room to the observation area happen. Also, I did wonder how they got this train set in the museum. It may have been kind of difficult. Maybe it was too big to fit through the parking garage, or maybe... They had to get it under the clearance without a scratcher. Maybe the Zephyr was lowered in by crane to the lower lobby. But other than that, I can try to find the real answer. Also, Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy 9900 is here at the Museum of Science and Industry for all to see and enjoy.